so here Look at that glow Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl City and today is actually a Saturday and gabi na. It's already 7 p.m. I think. But I decided to film a na video because I've been wanting to try this Vice Cosmetics na Ara Cheek Collection ever since I got them. You might have seen them already if you watched my last video where I showed my 1111 Cyber Sale Haul. So if you guys are interested to find out how these products perform, then just keep on watching. You know that before I start using these products, these um, cheek collection pala are all vegan, paraben free, and cruelty free. And bawat isa nito nagkakahalaga lang ng 145 pesos. So sobrang affordable and abot kaya para sa mga estudyante, para sa mga nagtitipid. I also like that everything about the product is written at the back so you can see the uh, manufacturer, the claims, the ingredients, the shade, even the price, the weight of the product, and the kusan siya ginawa. Even the barcode is in here, so really nice job for Vice Cosmetics. I also really appreciate the packaging. I like the metallic, the purple. I feel like it's sturdy enough for you to travel with it. Kung napapansin nyo, wala pa akong blush, wala pa akong contour, and wala pa akong highlight. So, I look kind of weird. I have two shades of their blushes. And then, meron din ako ng highlighter and contour. So, gagamitin natin sila today. Now, let's begin with the Aura Contour from Vice Cosmetics. This one is in the shade for sure. Ito yung itura niya. So, meron silang dalawang shade ng Aura Contour. Meron nitong para sa mga lighter skin tone. Tapos, meron ding isa for deeper complexion, which I really appreciate. Kasi most of the time, if it's a local brand or if it's a Filipino brand, isang shade lang for contour. So, okay na okay na meron silang shade for moreno or deeper complexion. And here it is inside. I don't know if you guys can tell sa camera, pero merong star na naka-impose dito sa pinaka-pan. I find that this is such a cute detail. Kasi yung star symbolizes yung tattoo ni Vice dito sa my leg. I know you guys are familiar with that. And ito naman yung pinaka-swatch nung shade niya. Ayan siya. I built it thrice para makita nyo hindi siya ma-wash out ng camera. Ito yung para sa lighter complexion. And just by looking at it, I feel like okay siya for my skin tone. So I'll take a brush, dip it dito sa pinaka pan. Fairness, kapag tinatap mo yung brush mo dun sa pan, hindi ganun karami yung fallout. Meron, pero hindi siya excessive. So here you go, I'll apply it where I normally contour my face. side na may contour, ito yung side na wala and as you can see, itong side na walang contour, parang pale and walang definition. But this side of my face where I apply the contour, kita nyo, defined na yung face ko. So, meron tayo parang cutting shade ng contour drag. So, may definition na yung face. Definitely very different from this side na wala pa. I don't like contours na sobrang warm kasi mukha kong umpa-lupa and I also don't want contours na sobrang cool kasi they tend to look muddy or grayish on my skin tone. Ito, okay na okay lang. Okay yung pag-build ng color sa kanya and ang smooth din ng powder. I really like it. Now, I'm gonna be trying to contour my nose. And wag nyo ako i-judge kasi hindi ako magaling mag-nose contour. For all I know, I'm just making my nose a lot bigger than it is. So, this is just how I do it. So, with that, we are done with the contour. Magbablush na tayo. So, I have two blushes here. So, I have one in pink and one in peach. So, I really wanted to try one pink and one peach para makita yung variety. But of course, I can only wear one blush. Pero, isuswatch ko pa din yung isa. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna be wearing Winner, which is the pink one. Tapos, isuswatch ko pa rin si Shala. Meron silang walong shades, I believe, ng blushes nila. And okay din yung shade range. There are just shades that I feel like are too vibrant for my liking. Pero if you are the type of person na gusto yung mga vibrant na colors ng blush, I think they have really unique colors that you can choose from. Um, I'm planning to pick up more of these soon. But for now, I have two to show you guys. So, let's start swatching um, Shala. Si Shala is a peach shade. Medyo vibrant siya sa pan. Pero I think when swatch mas okay siya. It doesn't register sa camera, pero sa pan, meron siyang parang mga tiny specks of glitters. But I like that for when you don't really want to apply any more highlighter, yung gusto mo lang glow, then it's really good. I feel like this is going to be a good one for the summer kasi meron na siyang instant glow sa kanya. So here is a swatch of Shala. And then if you try to build it up, ito yung tura niya, pero when you blend it, it's a really nice peach shade. Hindi siya kasing vibrant nito sa pan kapag nasa balat na and it blends really easy. And meron siyang glow sa kanya which I really like. I'll use this sometime soon. Si Wiener naman is yung typical na pink shade. Here. Unlike si Shala na meron parang tiny glimmers ng um, glitter sa kanya, ito wala. It's just a matte or regular matte na blush. So, I'll also swatch it. Same with Shala na very fine yung powder here. Si Winner. Medyo mas pink lang ng konti si Winner than I expected or than I normally like. Pero I can work with that. Just by swatching, I can already tell na very pigmented sila. So make sure that when you go in, you go in with a really light hand. Top of the excess. And apply light-handedly. I went really light-handed, pero ang pigmented pa din ni Winner. Oh my gosh. We have to blend this really nicely. Normally, when I wear blush, hindi siya nagre-register sa camera or nawa-wash out siya. Pero, I can tell na nakikita siya right now. Make sure na kapag gagamitin nyo to, hinay-hinay lang. Hindi to dong kuha ng product. Otherwise, pagmumukha kayo clown. I kind of wanna do drunk blush with this one. So, I'll try doing that. Extend ko siya on my cheeks and my nose bridge to achieve like a drunk blush look. And then like I always do, I put blush on my chin to make it more cohesive. Sometimes I would put some on my forehead but yeah, mostly on my chin. Okay yung color niya guys, hindi siya patchy at all. It blended nicely naman kahit kanina medyo napasobra tayo. Pero I tried to blend it again and okay naman siya. It also builds up really nicely kasi dito sa kabila binilt up ko siya. And okay siya guys. Kanina nung sinuswatch ko si Winner, parang vibrant pink siya. Pero on the skin, it looks really healthy and really fresh lang nandating. So, I feel like this is going to be a really nice blush for every day. Now, on to the final event, which is the highlighting. I'm very excited to try this one. Kasi kung consistent kayo na viewer ko, you already know na I am obsessed with highlighting. I couldn't take highlighter out of my makeup equation. Hindi talaga. I chose Splendid because I feel like this is the shade that will flatter my skin tone. And I also feel na madaming makikater na skin tone tong si Splendid. Kasi it's not too gold and it's also not too frosty. It's just in the middle, yung para may pagka-champagne na highlight which I really love. So I'm gonna be taking my Zoeba Lux Sheer Cheek brush. I'm topping my brush dito sa highlight and I'm seeing very minimal fallout and ang fine ng pagka-milled nito and hopefully it would also register nicely. 
So here. Let me try the other cheek. This one is not playing, you guys. I'm also gonna be taking some and putting this on my inner corners. You guys, akala ko ito is very parang glow from within or parang very subtle yung glow na binibigay. Pero just by watching it for the first time, na shook talaga ako. As in, oh, napatigil ako when I was applying it kanina kasi nagulat ako at how glowy it is. For 145 pesos, get this one. Feeling ko kung sobrang konti lang nakukunin mo, you can use this for everyday looks na very subtle lang yung pag apply Pero if you want to build it up and make it more intense, you can do that. I mean, look at this glow. Come on. Sis, you have to have this. I mean, we have finished the final look and isa lang yung masasabi ko. Wow. I'm just wowed by this collection. I really like everything that I have tried from the contour, the blush, and the highlight. Wow. Yung powders nitong mga to, sobrang finely milled. Wala akong masabi. Walang chalkiness. And yung fallout din nila is very minimal. Hindi siya something na nakaka-butter or yung kapag tinap mo, halos maubos na yung product kasi sobrang daming fallout. No, it's not like that. The powder is so smooth. Tama yung claims nila na smooth yung powder kasi okay na okay siya when you touch it. It's very smooth. It's very fine. The formula is really okay. It's also buildable like they claim. Yung pigmentation and color payoff top notch for me. I just couldn't believe how these are 145 pesos each lang kasi they perform really nicely and I'm also really happy as well na 145 lang sila kasi that means a lot of you guys can try them. Okay na okay to. I recommend them to you guys. All of them actually I really recommend. The blush, the contour, the highlight, it performs really nicely. If you're someone na gustong mag-try ng contour, ng highlight, at ng mga blush colors pa, if you want more options, grab these. Only thing na hindi ko masyadong na-enjoy from Vice Cosmetics so far are the like bullet lipsticks. Pero everything else that I've tried are good. And for the price point that they have, sulit, sulit. So that completes this video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys found this helpful if you guys are eyeing to buy the Vice Cosmetics Cheek Collection. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I hope you guys are having an amazing time. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. I'll see you on the next one.